So how does he see this weekend's Sarah Palin bus tour? Charles joins us now from Washington. So Hume and uh, me, your humble correspondent, we feel that she's not going to run. First of all, do you concur? I agree completely. I think it would make no sense for her to run. I think her chances of winning the nomination are small. The chances of winning the general election are probably nil. I think for the same reasons you articulated, 60% negatives, that's almost impossible to overcome. And it isn't as if that is forever. Hillary Clinton had very high negatives at many points in her career, but over time, they tend to soften. Yeah, but the, uh, the, difference, is, run, the uh, difference is that the press didn't hate Hillary Clinton, who was promoting her, and the press generally hates Sarah Palin. Well, so I'm she's going to have sure a tough mountain Hillary, whenever she goes. I'm not sure how, that Hillary has the political uh, smarts and uh, energy and star power of a Sarah Palin. No. So I would not underestimate it. She has a future. Why would you jeopardize it by running now and losing? Okay. Uh, why do people like George Will and the so-called Washington establishment Republicans not, not like Sarah Palin? Well, look, I can't speak on behalf of George, but I can speak on behalf of myself as a hoity-toity, a cocktail-swilling uh, Washington establishment elitist. But that's what we love about you, Charles, I, I, especially I the hoity-toity part. Which is actually a phrase she used in a tweet about me. So that, and I take it as a, a badge of honor. Um, so I'm not exa So I'll speak on behalf of All myself right, and, and the class of hoities that I represent <laughs> here. Um, it's not that you said in the introduction the rap on her is that she isn't smart. That is not so. She is very smart and adept, great political instincts, and is a star. The problem with her, I think, is that she is not schooled. I don't mean she didn't go to the right schools. I mean, when you get into policy, beyond instincts, I like her political instincts. I like her political um, uh, overall view of the world. But when it comes to policy, she's had two and a half years to school herself, and she hasn't. And that's a problem. You want a president who will be able to not have to learn on the job. We, we've already had that okay, but with President Obama and with others. Let me, let me it's articulate. Not only, uh, uh, hold on. Uh, one right. thing. It's not only lack of schooling. It's the lack of effort to, to school herself and the lack of insight to see that she needs it. Okay, but I, I don't really agree with you on that. And let me tell you why. I think the woman is shrewd shrewd. I think that that's word. And she's savvy in the political world. But she obviously ran the state of Alaska pretty well. I mean, her, her, her approval rating was high, and she did a lot of stuff for the folks with the oil companies getting the money. But her frame of reference is weak. And that's what I say, the rap on her is in she isn't smart, is that when she gets into the Korean War, or when she gets into how the Cold War uh, influences policy today, or how the Muslim world evolved into an enemy of the United States. All of these things she has trouble with. And that's, that's what the rap on her is, that she simply doesn't know enough about the world to be able to govern at that level. Do you agree well, or disagree? I, yeah, no, I agree with you about that. I think if you're going to master policy, especially world affairs, you've got to know history. As you say, you have to know how things evolved. And she is weak on that. It's not as if she can't learn. The fact is, it doesn't appear as if she wants to sort of sit down, spend some months schooling herself, as many people have done in preparing for the presidency. If you're a governor of any state, you face a narrow range of issues, and you don't have to deal with the world. It's incumbent on you to actually learn about it. Okay, the final thing is that uh, up against Michelle Bachman, we're having this interesting BillOReilly.com poll. It's the same constituency, conservative Tea Party people with a little bit of general conservative people. Who do you think is going to come out on top on that? Well, there was, there was one on special report the other night, and Bachman came slightly ahead of P P Palin. I think it was like um, uh, 55 to 45. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think you'll probably get a slight Bachman advantage simply because she's new and fresh. She is in Congress, so she's actually on the scene, has more of a sort of a grounding, has, has been out there casting the votes and is more current. I don't know that it, it, it pretends for the future, but I think if you had them both in the race, they would actually harm each other and allow others to pass them in the field. Okay, Charles, thanks as always. We appreciate it.